everyone. Welcome to Pittsburgh Earth Day's Vegged, your show for Earth-inspired eats featuring innovative chefs from across the city. I'm Natalie Bensavanga, and I will be your host. And I am so excited to host Vegged, not only because I have been plant-based myself, for over 10 years, but because I'm also a contributor to the Pittsburgh Earth Day newsletter, The Green Voice. And you can check that out online for ways to live more sustainably and amazing, yummy, plant-forward recipes. This episode of Vegged Earth Inspired Eats is being recorded at Water Source by Dawn's Appliances on Baum Boulevard in East Liberty. Water Source is the first location under Dawn's Appliances brand dedicated to kitchen and bathroom fixtures. We are cooking in the living kitchen that flaunts new luxury collections by Thermador, Professional, and Masterpiece, as well as the Galley Workstation. And I'm really jealous right now because two amazing chefs are right behind me and they are prepping for today's amazing cuisine. And I am just loving this kitchen so much, I wanna get in there and play with them. But instead, I'm gonna introduce them. So, starting with Chef Anthony. Chef Anthony is currently the corporate chef for Dawn's Appliances, overseeing all culinary aspects, including interactive appliance demonstrations, customer use and cares, as well as cooking for private events and classes in Dawn's Appliances 10 showrooms. Chef Anthony has over 17 years of professional experience in the food industry, and he is a graduate of the CIA's Professional Chef Series. Also, Kayla Cook is head chef and co-owner of Casa Brazil in Highland Park. She started cooking very young, making her first pot of rice at age seven in her home country of Brazil before coming to the United States at age 21. A chefpreneur at heart, Kayla not only loves to cook, but is looking to expand her horizons within the industry. So let's go see what they're cooking up. I love a pun. All right, thanks, Natalie. Yes, we're here at Water Source. We're having a good time. Green voice, green food, flavorful food. Tell us about it. All right, talk to us about the dish. Let's rock and roll. Let's go. What are you thinking? Hello everybody, today we're going to be making a creamy rice, a vegan version and the only version that I know how to make it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and uh, bringing all the colors and veggies um, that I could find at this time of give the Give us year. a little bit about you, give us a little bit about background, you know, where'd you get this dish, you know, mm -hmm. kind of, hey, where you're from, you know what I mean? Give us the, all the goods to back up this amazing dish. Sure. So this dish is a creation by me, Kayla. I am the head chef and co-owner of Casa Brazil right down the street. And um, this dish came about for my love of veggies. Um, and it's a variation of a risotto. Usually risotto takes a lot of butter, a lot of cheese and stuff. And this time I'm gonna be using coconut milk to give that creaminess um, to the rice. And uh, rice is a very staple ingredient in Brazilian cuisine, so that's why I chose rice. I love it, because I'm a risotto guy through and through, and you know, I know it still sticks to me every time. I mean, <laughs> there's always so much of it, but I love this, uh, I'm, I want to see this version, I'm ready for this. Yeah, so this version is one of the easiest dish that I've ever made. Uh, first, because I cheated on the rice. I have uh, rice that is already cooked, so be very nice and easy. Pretty much is a matter of just. I like adding. that. See at home, guys. You want to do the cheat? You heard it right from the chefs. There's no good. You can you can cut some corners here. It's the way we love to do it. Okay. Yep. Rock and roll. So this rice goes in. You need me to do anything here? You want me to no. do like you know? I can hold stuff. I can be your <laughs> like. I can be your Vanna White. I'll be whoever you need to be right now. So pretty much, you have to add everything that is here to the bowl. Okay. So we have oh, you weren't kidding. Here. You're like, you're, you're ready. Okay. Oh yeah, I am ready. <laughs> yeah. All right, so any, any certain order? To, what do we got here? Some grated... Uh, some grated carrots. Grated carrot and some corn. Corn. Going. Yep. And the corn, you can use uh, canned corn or frozen. I prefer frozen uh, just because it doesn't have all the additives mm -hmm. as a canned uh, corn. And then uh, what, what kind of rice are we using for this one? I mean, can we use... This is jasmine rice. Okay, perfect that's jasmine. That's what I had on hand. You can't find it in any store pretty much, mm -hmm. so that's the rice that I chose. Can we ever and use a variant of rice, like any different you ones? Can, we, you can, you can. I don't think it will go wrong. Just cook rice, the rice, uh, the rice. recipe that uh, you like, yes. And this one was cooked just with garlic, salt, and oil. Okay. But you can make your rice any way. 
Okay. Any, even I think wild rice would work with oh, this. Oh, wild rice, yeah, give us some good that color. color. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Next, guys. So I'm jumping them in. You yeah. you label them. I'll throw them in. Okay? Thank you. You got some <laughs> red peppers. The best helper. Listen, I'm good. Yeah. I mean, I, I take I take orders real well, especially from women. You know what I mean? I know my role here. You know, what is this guy? So before we jump to the next okay. one, I just want to point um, that the recipe that you guys are gonna see calls for butternut squash. I didn't have butternut squash on hand, uh, but a summer squash or zucchini would work without any problem. So that's a substitution here. And, and that's great to keep it seasonal too. You know what I yeah. mean? So you guys don't have to go, you know, you know, get the freshest ingredients possible. You know, get what's local, get what's you know in season now. I mean, uh -huh. and that's a perfect example of, you know, not really, you know, kind of breaking the rules of the recipe. So yeah. you know, I would rather I would rather use you know something fresh right now than to say get a canned butternut squash or something like you know that won't really help to the flavor of that. All right. yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then also, this is a way, a great way to d make a whole new meal from a leftover because this rice was leftover. So mm -hmm. it's just a matter of like reusing something that you were gonna throw it away mm -hmm. and add some new flavors and colors and make a new dish. See, that's a great idea, especially if you guys, like I always make too much of everything. Rice, what, triples in size. So, yeah. you know, that little bit of rice, I'm always like, hey, let me double down, let me triple down on this. And I end up with this monster pot of rice and I end up not, not knowing what to do with it. So, that's pretty you know, much now it. we can make a nice little dish out of this. So this one is collard greens, just nice and chopped. Um, uh, you can definitely use spinach for this as well. Just add some nice dark green vitamins in here. You're right. You're packing the nutrients in. You know what I mean? You're packing all the vitamin in with all these vegetables. That's a great, great clue. So then... I see all the aromatics next, man. There's some. <laughs> there is some. There is some good. There is some good stuff going on up. Oh uh, yeah. Right here. So. So talk to say. me. Parsley. Mm -hmm. Chop parsley, I love parsley. Parsley, cilantro, and green onions in Brazilian cuisine is called the three, uh, the three cents. Mm -hmm. That means that pretty much every recipe we call for these three ingredients. So that's what it is here, the green onions. And then cilantro, if you're not a big fan of it, that's totally fine, you can definitely skip it. Some people have that soapy flavor, mm -hmm. like when they taste cilantro. So if cilantro is not your thing, skip it out. Or you can even use dry cilantro, that it, usually is very, very mild on flavor. You don't have that strong taste. Yeah, but in a dish like these rices, you know, how big do those herbs play? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. they, they really, you know. They bring it to life. They pop the flavors. You, you and, said yeah. it right there. They bring yeah. this dish to life. So, yep. you know what I mean? Experiment with the herbs. Try the cilantros. You know, get in there with, you know, you'll see once, once they mix with this rice and come with all these flavors, you know, it's really going to be, you know, not soapy, but, you know, really flavorful. See? Yeah. Good. And then I'm adding just a little bit of onions here mm -hmm. and a little bit of garlic and uh, more parsley. Why not? Yeah, why not? Right? There we go. So, <laughs> I'm I mean, a parsley this fan. Beautiful, <laughs> colorful. So now we're going to jump to the dry ingredients. Jump it in there. A little bit of salt because I already had salt on the rice, so you got to be careful about that. But it just this just to add a little flavor to the veggies. Mm -hmm. uh, pepper, of course. Hand in hand, right? Oh, yeah. And this is some turmeric for color, so you have that pop color at the end. I love cooking with my hands, and I really recommend that people wash their hands and get on cooking with their hands, put their yeah. hands on. The so turmeric's it. good. A lot of properties yeah. mm -hmm. in turmeric that help out. You know what I mean? Anti-inflammation. There's just, you know, turmeric's yeah. one of those, you know, worldly spices that if I think I can sneak it in somewhere, I sneak some turmeric in. Yeah. We're honest. Family at home. You guys taste something a little bit, you're like, what is it? Chef Frank with turmeric. <laughs> What's the last one there? This is cayenne pepper. Okay, throw and a little I'm, cayenne in. Yeah. yeah, I'm adding a little hit because we are working with coconut milk, so it helps not to be so sweet. So mm -hmm. it's, kind, it's not going to be spicy, but uh, it's going to blend well with the coconut milk. Mm -hmm. So just mixing it in, and then I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil. Yeah, kind of, kind of get it all happy, get it all together with the olive yeah. oil, bring it all in. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love this. I've been staring at this coconut milk. Please do. Uh, like drink it. You want me to drizzle some in for you? Let's go. How much is coconut milk do we put in here? It's about two cups. All right. So my area, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. heavy-handed. Like you know, you better tell chef when to go. <laughs> you know? So, man, look at that. This makes it. And this can definitely be done in the stove. Uh, as well, not just in the oven. I like making in the oven. That way you 
mix everything together, put it in the oven, then do about, go about doing something else, and then 25 minutes later, you have a whole meal. How about something, could this be prepped a day ahead of time, or like, you know, the morning of, things oh, like yes, that? Because definitely. You know, I'm always like, everybody's in a pitch, everybody's in a crunch. We all move so fast, Good you know point. what I mean? Yeah. If I could take my time and build all these flavors, and then, you know, let it set up in the fridge, am I, you know, am mm -hmm. I winning or what? Yes, you are. I'm and you and Natalie, you're gonna like this. This is, you know, I mean, there's no cheese in this one too. So you know, <laughs> this is a Natalie approved dish. Oh yes, she's had veggie, so <laughs> here it is. Great. Look at the color on that. It, you're right. It does look like risotto right now. You know what I mean? I mean, you, you do. I mean, I'm going I would have if I if I had a blink, I'd swear you put cheese or something in there. You oh know? yeah, <laughs> and a lot of butter or heavy cream or something, right? You're right. All my favorites. So then do. I'm gonna just dump everything in a casserole dish. Like that, nice. Look at that, perfect. Spread it out nice and even, huh? Yep. Good. Nice. See all those colors? Oh my goodness. You're right, real nice colors, real creamy with the coconut. I mean, just the flavors alone that you built in there the coconut, you know, the turmeric, the salt, pepper, the fresh veggies, and the herbs, too. I mean, beautiful, so. Yeah, that is beautiful, right there. So All what's right. our next step? So if we're not, we're not doing it in the stove, so what are we good with this guy, so? So put in the stove for 25 minutes at 350, mm -hmm. and then we're ready to go. Right. It's best if you eat hot, mm -hmm. so pop out of the oven, gotta make sure that you have your table set and ready to go. Right. And then um, this will go very well with something crispy on the side. Good, because good all, texture. Yes, uh -huh, because all the creaminess and everything, I think, would be a good contrast. How do you guys do the Casa Brazil? What's, what's, her, what's your name? This is not a dish at Casa. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is exclusive. So, this is exclusive. So this is exclusive. This is exclusive. A, a one yeah. time, you know, you're not going to see this. You, know, you guys better... You guys better hit record on this guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I got I got all the proof in the pudding right here, so we'll see ya. <laughs> all right, so I gotta pop this in the oven for you, right? Yes, please. All right, 25 minutes, guys. Start timing now. Uh oh. In the oven it goes. Awesome. All right, awesome sauce. Now we're gonna sit here for 25 minutes. Tick tock. 24:59. All right, what are we gonna do here? What are you cooking for us? I heard Me? you're making something crispy. I'm not doing any work today. You're not. Good. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm going to wash my hands so I can All right. You wash your hands. All right. We're going to rock and roll. I'm going to crank up our induction burner. I got a cast iron. We're going to do a super easy dish, guys. This is crispy tofu. We're going to put in some broccoli, do some fresh red pepper on it, avocado oil. We're going to finish it with some vegan shaved parm. It's going to be one of the nicest, lightest dishes. And you said something crispy, so I listened to you. So we're going to have some crispy broccoli, some crispy tofu. Awesome. A little bit of nice pepper. You're like, awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. All right. Um, guys, extra firm tofu is the friend of this dish right now. So we're going to want to use some extra firm tofu. That's what it looks like um, when you get it out of the package. Um, best is to put it into a towel like this. So I got it into a towel. I had it waited for like three or four hours. Okay, and you know, you could use paper towel, but it just doesn't soak up as much as a towel does. So you're gonna see the difference right now. Right? What happens if you don't dry it? So, you know, to, to too much moisture, we don't get that really crispy sear, and we don't actually get all that flavoring that we need to. So, you know, if you want it, truthfully, tofu, if you, you love it or hate it, it's a texture thing. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So, guys, let's just look at the differences between a weighted tofu. Look at that. Uh, you know what I mean? You see, I see. You, you uh -huh. see that? Uh -huh. Look at the differences in that. You yep. know? So now we've pressed out all that water, so now we can build that good flavor, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so check that out. That's see, isn't that fun? Yep. So Thank the amount of water is just unreal. These micro tiles work really well. All right, so we're gonna throw some avocado oil in here. All right, I have some pre-roasted garlic with a little bit of herb. We're gonna yeah. fire that guy in there too. I use the whole cloves because everybody's picky. You see it in there, you can avoid it. If you don't see it in like there. Who doesn't like garlic? There are people out there. I'll be real honest with you. you know, I know there. And they, they are in my family as well. So, you know, being, being you know, 100% Italian, you know, you'd say, hey, there's nobody in Marina's family that doesn't like garlic, but there is. My mother's out there. All right. <laughs> so now we're going to put this uh, broccoli mom. in. <laughs> Hi, mom. Sorry. You know I love you. All right. We're going to put this broccoli in here and we're gonna fry it so out good. with this avocado oil and this roasted garlic, all right? Mm -hmm. Next, we're gonna take our tofu 
and we just want to put a nice slice into it like this. Beautiful. Okay. And now we're just going to cut it, and you could make it small. I like to do big dices because I want this to like be the presentation piece. Yeah. I want them to see that. I see that. Really nice. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Before that rolls away, we're going to salt and pepper this guy really liberally. Okay. This is our main, 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 main piece there. Okay. All right. We just want to fry this just to get the crispy on it. So bring out a little bit of that moisture. Bring out a lot of that fun too. We'll lower our heat on our induction a little bit. We'll talk about the other pieces of this. So we got some chili garlic sauce. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. Good more steak. garlic. More garlic. But this is more. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry again, mom. But this is more chili. This is really going to give us that cool heat that we want and really that nice pop of color. All nice. right. That we need. Here is our. Um, Parmesan, our vegan cheese, nice. and that's really going to go on top. So try that out. Yeah, it's a little cool. You know, uh -huh. I love that. You know, as, as a nice, nice alternative. You know, we talked about that in a few segments before. All right, we're going to cut the pepper as well. Move that around with a knife. You know, here I got you. Yeah. The cool part is the induction does all the work. We just let it sit. Yeah. We're going to cut some thick strips just like this. Super easy, guys. Do this at home. Get your friends involved. Have them work. If they're eating, have them work too. <laughs> I'm a full proponent. And if I'm cooking, but someone's they, cleaning. They're the someone's guests. Stuff. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're a guest at my house. It, literally, you signed up for pots and pans, bartender, server, you know, everything under the sun. Back waiter. I'll find something for you to do, right? All right, we'll cut some nice thick strips. Right. Beautiful. That broccoli looks good. Check that out. You know what I mean? So That's going to go right on this plate. Look at you go. I love it. Yeah. Too good to me. You know, I might actually just hang back. You know, <laughs> I like this. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, I'm jealous. I want some pepper. <laughs> Here, have a pepper. There you go. Nice and sweet. All right, we're going to put a touch more of the avocado oil in. All right. And now, we're gonna put our nice tofu pieces in. Should they keep some of this garlic in there? Keep that flavor in there, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're gonna put our nice pieces in there. And I like using the cast iron, guys. Use whatever pan you're comfortable with. Use, use a nice hot pan. It'll make your life a breeze, all right? Do this like this. This pepper's so not so sweet, so good. I know, right? It's pretty good. Not too bad for this time of year. All right. The key to this tofu, I want it to get crispy, but I don't want it, I don't want it crispy on all sides. I hate to say it, I almost like to cook it like a scallop. Dare I say it? I cook it like a scallop. 80% on one side, hard char, and I give it a nice flip. Some people say I'm crazy, I don't know. I, I like it. Uh-huh. But look at that color. You know what I mean? Just a little browning on it. Give it a quick flip. See that? Yeah, I like it. You know, you're not scared to get in the game. I like it. You know what I mean? You cook with me anytime, girl. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm in. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, I like that. Let's do it. So we just give those couple nice flips. It looks good. It's garlic. We might need a touch more of this olive oil or avocado oil. My fault. Just to give it a little little jam. And now I'm gonna put the peppers right in over top because I want the peppers to cook, but I don't want them like, I don't want them to be overcooked. I want them to steam in there, maybe get a little love. Get soft, and then, because yeah. they're gonna re release a little of that moisture. We'll put a touch more in this in. And basically, stir fry this all up, man. We can have one dish, one love, you know, you don't have to play around with any of that stuff. But here's your kicker. We talked about hot chili How garlic. How hot is that? It's not really hot. Okay. It's, it's, just it's, flavor? It's, it's more like the, these chilies are soaked in vinegar, ground with the garlic and everything like that. You know, you can make this at home. Uh huh. But, you know, it's so much easier. One tablespoon goes in. And when I say one tablespoon, it's like two for me, all right? <laughs> I'll move that around just like that. That smells amazing. Yeah, it's cool. And the, and the um, chili garlic gives it a little bit of nice flavor. We'll move this guy around, put our broccoli out to the edges, crew. Oh, put that over there. <laughs> 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 
couple nice strips of pepper on top. We'll put all of our tofu Seven. right in the center. <laughs> no, you okay? You need yeah. a fan? I might. <laughs> Let's turn that on. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. So we'll put that in. Put a couple more pepper strips on top. Nice and nice like that. Beautiful. Then you know what I mean. We'll actually we'll take a little bit of your parsley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> take a little bit of your herbs. Nice like that. Finish it with oh, my cheese goodness. like that. Uh huh. Boom, boom, boom. And then just a light drizzle of our avocado oil on it. And that's our jam right there. Let's go over here. Let's move that guy so it's out of the way. So I don't keep choking, you know what I mean? And that's gonna be our dish right there. So crispy, good, a little bit of flavor, nice pop of color. What do you think? We got one more dish. Is it your dish? Ready to rock and roll, huh? Yep. All right, let's take yours out. Keep it out. Woo! Good, good, nice good. Nice and hot. So, you know, you have your rice dish served with something crispy. Something so creamy, creamy and crispy. I think creamy that's crispy. God. This is great. I wish, I really hope that you make these dishes, both of them. Look at all these colors. Green, red, yellow, orange, everything popping up. And not just about the colors, the flavors. This is really a good, really good combination and everybody should make this. And uh, enjoy. I <laughs> get a glass of agree. wine and just enjoy your evening. Do a date with yourself or get a friend or your spouse, whatever it is. But this will be a date night for me. <laughs> uh, not only is it a date night, I was standing off camera because I was like, no, I have to come on camera now because this smells so good and I cannot wait to try. Oh my gosh. So is there, can I have a fork or something? You can have fork, spoon, knife, I mean, I, I need to taste like, this. <laughs> See, that's all I want to hear. That's all I want to hear from Chef Anthony is anything I want. I mean, is that so hard? <laughs> I can't wait to try this because, you know, a little bit of a... Uh, Proof's in here, man. All right. Try that out. Let's see. Tofu with the sriracha, all right. you know, the garlic chili, Ooh, and the, all the good flavors, mm. so... Oh, it's so mm. good. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Right. The texture of that, she's right, it's just like a risotto. Mm -hmm. Yep. But. And the flavor profiles on that, you get, like, a little bit of that the cilantro, but then you're getting some of the peppers and the carrots. It's heaven. Okay. <laughs> and this I've been waiting to try too because I'm I don't Are care you what a I don't, tofu fan. I'm a huge tofu fan. Okay. So am I. I don't care what anybody says. I love tofu. Surprise. And I love broccoli. You can be so creative this with is, it. This is this is my jam right here. Mmm. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. And that's super easy. So five mm. ingredients, you know, that you guys can do versatile. You know, I have to say the look goes a long way. Sorry to No, not at all. I'm just so excited because mm -hmm. I have to tell you, I wouldn't have thought to put the vegan parm. I would have never done that, and I think that is, well, that's why they pay you the big bucks. <laughs> you're, the, you're, you're the pros here, but this is... I could put cheese on anything. I love it. It's the Italian, you know? I respect that. But I appreciate you guys. Oh, yeah, totally. But I totally love everything that you guys did. These dishes are so delightful. They're so light. They complement each other. They won't weigh you down. They're just beautiful. So thank you both so much for being a part of Veg, and we cannot wait to see you next time and see what's cooking. Awesome. <laughs> I'm eating more of this. This is so good. Dive it in. Dive oh my it god. In. Mm. Good stuff. Your rice is insane.